Okay, now we get to Keynes's personal style. Uh, in addition to his systemic lying and deceit, etc. His personal style is kind of was very interesting. Uh, basically, as the Johnsons point out, he flattered his students outrageously. If, if, you, if you were a student, he'd say any dumb thing you said, he'd say, yes, there's a great point there. So he's very charming and flattering to his students, thereby gathering their loyalty. And he was vicious to all, any of his colleagues uh, in public. In other words, he'd denounce, he'd show, try to show up as colleagues being stupid in front of his, their common students. Uh, probably the most vicious single thing he's done, I'm not, I'm not an expert on how, how vicious he was, but at least to me, one of the most single vicious things that Keynes did was the way he treated uh, his old buddy Dennis Robertson, D.H. Robertson, who was a uh, his former student and colleague at Cambridge, he was a much better economist than Keynes. But one of the things about Robertson was he was extremely and painfully shy, even in a period of very shy academics, of eccentrics and all that. He, was, he stood out. He was uh, almost, almost pathologically shy. Uh, for example, Kane, uh, Robertson would write out all of his lectures. Now, this was often done in those days. Okay? He'd write every word out. He refused to take any questions whatsoever. He wouldn't talk to anybody, was the, the, the key thing, but poor Robertson. And then, so, and then uh, in those days, the Cambridge ma inter, inter Cambridge mail system was extremely efficient. There'd be like three mail services a day. So a lot of people wrote notes to each other. But his secretary was right next to him. He'd never speak to a secretary, just write, write a message to her, so leave it on her desk. So this poor guy, and a very sweet guy, is obviously filled with gentle quotes from Alice in Wonderland, things like that. And, um, and so, Ro so Keynes, of course, knowing this, exploiting Robertson's weakness, would get, set his, his students and intellectual thugs on Robertson, to harass him, denounce him, heckle him, and so forth and so on. Just horrible. It's a, it's a systematic torture of poor, of poor Robertson. Uh, Joan Robertson is one of the people involved in this uh, escapade. Uh, so... I think, uh, that, I think that sort of sums up, in many ways, Keynes' character, the brutality and sadism of his character. 